Now we're looking at the, uh, the metal rail system that you put in, and, and Bob has some suggestions for that. Um, the main, well, one of the problems we've noticed with these is that most of the doors were not uh, sitting in the grooves here, okay? So the doors were flopping around. I don't think that came off during shipping. I think they were never on. But there's an awful lot of play here. And I can see where a customer, just by leaning on this a little bit, could snap this whole thing off. What we're suggesting is you take, these rails are fine, but put them on the sides rather than on the bottom. It means you have to move the side of the drawer in a half an inch. You know, this will be in a half an inch to give you clearance for the rail, because these rails take half an inch. So, so the front the is the same, but the side rails are recessed in? The front stays the same, the side is just in a half an inch and then mount these up on the side. It's much easier to get access. This little, the little uh, release bar that's underneath, it's very difficult to get it in and that release bar catched when it's in this position. When they're on the side and you've got the release bars over here, you can catch that little lever and pull your drawer in and out, re-put it back, much easier with one person. With this, you almost need two people to be able to do it to be able to get it lined up and in properly. And the overspray? The slides should be put on after you put your finish on. These have been put on <clears throat> before you sprayed it. So now they're very stiff. This should run just as smooth as glass. And it's because there's a lot of overspray when you were spraying the cabinet. And 